Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, PBO in STEM. Today we are pulling out brilliance by looking at five ways that you can use your Google Home or Google Mini or your Alexa to help build 21st century skills in your little ones. So I have three little ones, Preston, Braxton, and Olivia. Preston is six, uh, well, he's soon to be six, Braxton is three and Olivia is two. And we are working on uh, bringing our home up to, I guess, the smart home standard. And so we have a couple of Google Minis and a Google Hub and the kids really enjoy um, playing around with them. And so I'm gonna share with you a few ways that they use them, um, again, to build 21st century skills. So you might be thinking, what? Our 21st century skills. So 21st century skills are described in a lot of different ways depending on um, who you ask or where you're looking, uh, but I think five skills that are very um, standard across the board are critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, technology, media literacy, and leadership. These are skills that have been identified as essential for our children to learn in order to thrive uh, in the fourth industrial revolution. And so if you're interested in learning more about the fourth industrial revolution, I'll link some videos below that can explain a little bit more about um, 4IR and how it's different than the previous three industrial revolutions um, and how you can prepare. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, number one, you can use the Google Home Mini or the Google Hub or even Alexa to really foster this sense of curiosity and uh, the ability to ask questions. And so it's a great tool for your children to ask questions. Um, so you might say, hey Google, what's the weather today? The forecast in Pittsburgh tonight is 43 and partly cloudy. Right now it's 44 and clear. I absolutely love, by the way, and this is a little bit off topic, that we've changed the voice of our Google Assistant to Issa Rae. We love you, Issa Rae. If you're watching our video, I know you got your big break on YouTube. Um, we absolutely love her. And so it's exciting to hear when she's able to kind of answer the questions the kids ask. All right, let's stay on topic. <music> So the second way is to define words. And so you can ask Google what things mean. And if you have little people, um, you know that they're always asking, what's that mean or why? And they have lots of questions. And so they can ask um, Google or you can ask Google because a lot of times I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure. I've never thought about that. Let's ask Google, right? And instead of having to go to your phone and look it up, you can just say, hey, Google, what does perhaps mean? Here's the definition of perhaps, used to express uncertainty or possibility. So my son asks me that all the time because he'll ask me if we could do something and I'll say, mm, perhaps, and I'm like, mom, what does perhaps mean? So now he can ask and get a definition that uh, satisfies him. <laughs> you can also ask things like, hey Google, what's Hanukkah? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Hanukkah is a Jewish festival commemorating the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem at the time of the Maccabean Revolt against the Seleucid Empire. It is also known hey, Google, as the stop. Festival of... All right, so see, one day, um, one of my sons came home, they asked about Hanukkah, they had someone in their class that is Jewish and celebrated that holiday, so then we can have a conversation about cultures, about different holidays that folks celebrate around um, when we celebrate our Christmas holidays, and it just leads to robust conversations that you can absolutely have with a three-year-old or a five-year-old. And so it's a really helpful tool to define words. <music> Next up, number three, you can use your Google Home, Google Hub, Google Mini, um, or even Alexa to translate words. So right now, my son is studying Spanish as an elective at school, and he's excited to come home and tell us um, the different things that he's learning. And I've taken a lot of Spanish. However, I am far from fluent. And so it's really fun to ask Google how to say certain words. And so we might say, hey, Google, how do you say afternoon in Spanish? In Spanish, that's... Tarde. Tarde. Or 
Last year when my son was in pre-K studying Mandarin and we had no idea, um, we've never studied Mandarin and he would come home and he would tell us that he was saying words in Mandarin. I'd be like, mm, I don't know if I believe you. And so we would fact check him using the Google and say, hey Google, how do you say milk in Mandarin? In Chinese, you would say. You and I. See? And so then you can uh, use it to translate words in all kinds of languages. And so again, that's a really great way to teach um, and to give your child an opportunity to use the technology that might already be in your home and then to have conversations about culture and language um, and help them build or reinforce skills that they might be learning in school. All right, number four, you can inspire independence and 21st century skills in your children through using the Google Home, uh, Google Home Mini, the Google Hub, uh, by allowing your child to give commands. So uh, our Google Home is connected to some of the lights in our house. And so our kids are able to uh, turn lights on by themselves. So for our three-year-old, this is awesome because obviously he's not tall enough to reach the light switches uh, and turn the lights on and off that way. And so he often says, hey, Google, turn off the light. And it makes this little noise and you can't see into our living room right now, but the light is off. Hey, Google, turn the light back on. And then the light comes back on. And so uh, by giving these little commands, it reinforces some sense of independence um, and allows your child to practice giving commands. You can also say things like, hey Google, read The Princess and the Frog. It looks like The Princess and the Frog isn't in your Google Playbooks library, but here's a five minute free sample. Chapter one. The night air in New Orleans. Hey Google, stop. So I picked that one because The Princess and the Frog is one of my daughter's favorite books and movies right now. And so although the book is not in our library, we can check out a free sample. And if we decide to buy it, now there is a book that they can listen to. So if you're looking for ways to kind of cut down on screen time, listening to audiobooks using the Google Home Mini or the Google Hub um, is a great way to do that. All right, and one of my personal favorites, number five, you can really build some 21st century skills in your little ones, as well as build independence and get them away from the screen by allowing them to participate in one of Disney's adventures. And so they can choose their own adventure and uh, play along. So it requires them to listen, to think critically, make decisions as they're listening along to the story. So you might say, Hey Google, play Mickey Mouse Adventure. Here's Mickey Mouse Adventure. Hiya pal, it's me, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Would you like to go on an adventure with me? Yes. Great. Do you want to help me get to my magic show or have some fun story time together? Let's have fun story time together. Terrific, because I just happen to have a story, right? Um, well, uh, hey, Google, stop. stop. All right, there we go. So as you can see, there are choices. They can choose their own adventure and they can have fun with characters that they already know and love. And there are a ton of choose your uh, own Disney adventure opportunities that they can um, participate in or play with uh, on the Google Home, Google Home Mini, Google Hub. Um, and so I will do a whole video if you guys want, um, just leave some comments below if you would really like a video on those uh, Disney adventures on the Google Home, I'm happy to do that. So just let me know. All right, so we went through the five ways that you can use your Google Home or Google Home Mini or your Google Hub or maybe even Alexa to build some 21st century skills in your little ones to create independence and to cut back on screen time. So I hope these were helpful for you and we'll do just a quick recap. One, we use the Google Home to ask questions. Two, we defined words. Three, we translated words. Four, we gave commands. And lastly, we went on some Disney adventures.
So again, I hope this was helpful. If you check out the comments below, I have some links to where you can purchase a Google Home, a Google Hub, or a Google Home Mini at Target uh, if you don't already have one. Uh, also some other links to some uh, PBO in STEM, Pulling Out Brilliance in STEM merchandise if you're interested in a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a mug, a poster, some stickers. We've got some great products that you can take a look at. And again, I uh, invite you to subscribe, follow us on Instagram at PBO in STEM, or even uh, keep checking back for more videos. Make sure you hit the bell so that you are alerted every time we post something new. Until next time, see you later.